Hello guys, welcome to Global Hopper. So this is my second video of um, Shenzhen. I'm in a very pretty area. Um, it's called Happy Coast. I'll put the actual name down here, so I'm not sure. I'm not confident with my translation. Um, this is a very modern, trendy sort of area. Everybody came here for like shopping, restaurants, or just relax. Uh, it's a really cool area, so let me go and take you and see around this area. Um, it's right about sunset, so hopefully I can capture some of the footage of the sun setting. There's a beautiful lake just behind us. It is now 20 minutes past six. So the sun is just about to set. This is such a cool area. Let me show you. So the in the evening must be really pretty with all the LED lights turned on. I know that there is a massive flagship DJI store because this is the home of DJI. So try to find that area. Wow. Awesome. Once again, the wife and Amber decided to stay at home to uh, continue sleeping off their um, jet lag. Oh wow, the area smells so good. So this is obviously a food street. Wow, what a beautiful place. This place is absolutely stunning. I can, I can smell the spice, the aroma of dinner. <laughs> wow. Shenzhen has been more than meets my expectation. They say never meets your hero, right? Never meet your hero. But this far exceeds what I have been expecting. Shenzhen has been such a lovely and livable place. So green. Everywhere you turn is like a park. The entire city is like a park. I have um, a driving video or driving clips uh, that you can see that even on the sort of major avenues of the city there's just so much green <laughs> right guys I love the traditional esque buildings here <laughs> love it so artistic so all these grey stones Obviously a replica to traditional houses. I just love it. Okay guys, I haven't found DJI yet, but I find two famous sons of Shenzhen. Shenzhen, as you know, is a technology center of China, the Silicon Valley of the land. So I find two of his sons. One of them is Huawei, very famous, of course, perhaps for all the wrong reasons, but let's not get into the politics. Do you know they make cars? They are everywhere. 
they make cars. <laughs> it's just astonishing. The other famous find that I, <clears throat> the other famous sun that I find, perhaps less famous than either DJI or Huawei, is Neil. The uh, luxury Chinese EV maker, famous for the fact that they can um, have a battery swap stations all around, not only China now, but around Europe. So you can actually swap your battery literally within five minutes instead of charging it. Neo has been uh, such a cool brand. But uh, yeah, what a lovely place to just have a straw after dinner. Ah oh, man, I wish I can, um, you know, retire in Shenzhen, but <laughs> It is a very, very expensive city, so please subscribe, <laughs> like the video, <laughs> so I can bring more contents like this. Wow. Uh, uh, again, another son of uh, Shenzhen. Um, again, a little bit less famous in the Western world is uh, Xiaomi. Am I Xiaomi? That's uh, another mobile phone maker. Ah, and now, ladies and gentlemen, the most famous invention of Shenzhen, the flagship DJI. <laughs> what a beautiful structure. That is what we call a flagship. I think inside there is actually a, um, um, like a unit, well, not unit, like a training center. They teach you how to uh, fly drones. This area is just astonishing. Just astonishing. Starbucks. Oh, wow. What a place. What a place. Four floors of DJI goodness. Four floors. Wow. Guys, I absolutely love DJI. The, the microphone that you see here is DJI. The gimbal I'm using to stabilize this camera is DJI. All I need now is a drone and a saying, there's just one above my head. There are so many drones in Shenzhen after all. <laughs> Where else do you fly but home? <laughs> wow, what a place. Right, I don't think, I think I might have missed the sunset, which is a shame because on the way here on the taxi, I saw it. Unfortunately, I missed the sun. I ran up the stairs and uh, see if I can capture it. Unfortunately, it's gone. Ah, what a shame. But yeah, guys, it's such a lovely area to just stroll around, relax after lunch or dinner. Rather, or you can have dinner here. That's a pretty cool seat, right? <laughs> that is the coolest seat. There are so many restaurants. Yeah, there are so many restaurants, including uh, like fast food um, little vehicles that you can purchase food from. Really cool place.
Yes, yeah, so many food. So much, I mean, <laughs> sorry. Ah. Roasted duck, classic. <laughs> We're walking along a canal. Restaurants on either side. This area, guys, is so pretty. You gotta have to, um, if you're in Shenzhen, you have to come. I'll put the full name on the screen so you can see, because I'm uh, <laughs> not confident with my translation. So good. It's so atmospheric, just walking along the canal. Wow, Shenzhen. This might be uh, controversial, but, and what I'm about to say represents my opinion, and my opinion only, of course. I've been to quite, um, well, no, I haven't been to many places in China, but from what I can see from the places that I did go, Shenzhen so far is the best place I've ever been in China, certainly. And I just completely fall in love with this city. So this is an ethnic minority restaurant from Xinjiang province. They do the best barbecue. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Check out this bridge. It's a pretty cool bridge. Ah. Guys, I'm going to do a proper Travel China guide because it's not just about the cultural difference not just about the language, but the practical advice of how to get around the visa, VPN, transportation, accommodations, payment especially, because China is pretty much cashless. So I really want to show you how to get around. I will post that video later, and then um, hopefully that will provide some, uh, some help to you. Ah, look at this area. So they have turned down the lights now, and <laughs> it just looks even more magical. So yeah, it can be a little bit daunting coming to China as a foreigner. Um, what I find most challenging is the payment system. So I'll tell you a little bit more about how to get around it, how to get used to it, how to actually ace it in that video. Oh wow. Man, this place is designed to resemble the um, water towns in Zhejiang province. Ah, classical Chinese garden styles. Imagine having a, having a meal here and a couple of beers afterwards. What a beauty this is. I'm really having a great time, as you can tell. Really great time. Loving this city. 
everywhere you go it just artworks like this the trees <laughs> oh my gosh Wow, even on the trunk, there are laser lights. I don't know how much to show you on the camera. Everything is designed in the olden style. As you can see, this building here, gray stones, that very interesting graduation of the roof. But of course, it's all replicate and it's all modern. Gu Yun Jin Feng, that's uh, that word come to mind. It means showing the old through the lens of the new. What a place. Another classical bridge. Let's go across it and see what's on the other side. Oh wow, what is that? Wow, that's so cool. Let's go check it out. I thought that. Every restaurant, every bars are really just competing to look the best. Every this single one of them just looks so artful. Look at this one. <laughs> look at this one. <laughs> With the neon lights. Right, this one, I don't know. What is it? It's a laser projection or something. Let's have a look on the other side. Wow, this, this place is significantly larger than I thought. <laughs> it's just incredible. Robots. <laughs> So if we really keep going back, keep straight ahead, then it will take us to a massive shopping center, indoor shopping center. Oh man, what a place. How very, very beautiful. And guys, remember, this is what really amazes me. What really, really amazes me, everything that you see here, everything in Shenzhen that I've shown you so far, none of this existed back in 1982. The first break was laid in 1982. Mere 44 years later, this is what you get. The atmosphere that I find here just so relaxing. China is such a safe country. I will talk, talk more about safety in my China Guide video later. But it's, uh, it's just safe. You feel safe. It is safe, factually. The temperature has dropped to a very comfortable level. I remember this morning was was hot, <laughs> uncomfortably so. It was 27 degrees, but now it's probably around 20, so it's much cooler. The other thing um, for you guys is that if you 
like filming videos or taking photos like I am, like I do, then taking videos in China is not a problem at all. Even in private shopping centers, no one will stop you. That's not the experience that I get back in some of the European countries. Here, they take a, a much more relaxed approach. But of course, this might differ depending on the individual shop. So some of the shops um, might be a little bit reluctant for you to uh, film. So just, uh, just be respectful. But as I say, vast, vast majority of the places filming is not a issue at all. Wow. Okay, what is this <laughs> rubber duck thing? <laughs> what the hell? I oh, was a little train track the kids can play. <laughs> ah, there's a Tesla, a Burger King, which I do fancy, but I can't morally eat Burger King whilst I'm in China. <laughs> Right? Because there are so many, so much good food. I can always eat Burger King back in the UK, but here I want to sample as many Chinese food as I can. But yeah, so if you are someone who is, uh, wants Western food, uh, every now and then a Burger King, McDonald's, pizza, pasta, you're not going to have a problem anywhere in China, really, not just in Shenzhen. So that's the, that's the location of the place. Oh wow, okay. Wait a minute. That's very cool down there. So that's where I'm gonna go. Okay guys, I've come all the way from there. Came down here so I can go and uh, check out the lights on top of the trees. This is so cool. This is such a Chinese thing to do, a little details that just make a little ordinary walk such as this far more interesting. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. Again, guys, I can't, I can't stress just how relaxing it is to be strolling around this area. Everything is so cute. Everything is so modern and convenient. Look at this, look at this. <laughs> you can't ask for a cuter ice cream bar than this uh, bear. Wow. So when they turn on all the lights. I don't know, it's just magical. Right, I wonder if I can turn right somewhere and see those lights over there. Go check. How about that for a bar? That's a cool bar. <laughs> I think it's a Korean song. Oh, 
how about this for saying guys I totally concur <laughs> brilliant <laughs> I didn't know he changed his color it literally just did as I start walk towards this area this is so very very cool oh wow <laughs> These little details, you know, these little decorative details just make, just make a city so much more enjoyable. So much more enjoyable. Incredible place, incredible place. Oh man, this place just gets better and better. I didn't imagine it was this big. Check out these trees. <laughs> so pretty guys. I just saw something <laughs> jumping out of the water there. You can still see the wrinkle. I think it might be a large fish. <laughs> That's quite crazy. So much light. Okay guys, I think it is time to say goodbye for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly did. If you do, please give a thumb up and subscribe. Um, I will bring you far a lot more contents from Shenzhen in the next few videos. So wherever you are in the world, please stay safe, stay positive. I'll see you in the next round. Jerio from Global Hopper.